Uh, clearly, this has been on the agenda for some time now. The deal finally concluded. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the, the uh, acquisition. I mean, as we said, it's about a 74% interest in Black Mountain Mining. Uh, thank you very much and good afternoon. Uh, this acquisition is in line with the strategy of Vedanta to expand its zinc business, zinc and lead business. And uh, this acquisition with Anglo uh, was concluded last year in the month of May 2010. And since then, the process of getting approvals from the DMR and everything was completed. And uh, the assets finally came to us uh, the day before yesterday. Mm. Uh, well, looking at prospects for this mine and also just looking at current operations, what are your prospects going forward? What is your next step? Uh, the current life of mine of Black Mountain is till the year 2018 and with a potential extension possible for the eastern side of the old body and therefore Vedanta is keen to pursue its uh, uh, investments in exploration and developing the current life of mine uh, beyond 2020. Mm. Uh, and also we have acquired along with Black Mountain asset the Deeps project, we have acquired the Hamsburg project which is part of the acquisition and uh, Soon or sooner or later, Vedanta would depute the, their uh, investments towards the Hamsburg project as well. Mm. Oh, well, looking at Anglo Zinc as a whole, and of course, um, Anglo American has, of course, been offloading its uh, assets when it comes to the zinc side of things. Why are you so interested in this space? You know, for us, zinc uh, and lead are some of our big businesses for Vedanta. And as you know, in, back at home in India, uh, Hindustan Zinc Limited is one of the largest zinc producers in the world, integrated zinc producer in the world, uh, producing close to 1 million ton of uh, zinc, lead, and silver. And therefore, uh, in consistent with our focus for this metal, uh, we continue to drive our growth in that area. area. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, Hamsburg is one of the largest uh, under, undeveloped zinc deposits in the world with a mineral resource of 177 million tons of ore. And it, uh, it, there's a perfect strategy and fit for Vedanta to expand its zinc footprint in parts of Africa. Mm. And of course, this is also going to ensure uh, that the likes of uh, Vendata is going to be uh, the world's largest integrated zinc lead producer with uh, significant reserves. We're looking at reserves around 478 million tons. Yes, yes, mm. perfect. Uh, Kishore, also just looking at the fact that we have seen the big names, the likes of BHP Bulletin, Anglo-American, perhaps moving away from South Africa, moving away from certain African countries as well. Do you think that it's going to be a trend that will perhaps stay intact for some time to come? And, uh, you know, looking at Indian interest into the African continent, that has been ramped up. Why do you think there's been such a change in strategy? Well, I'm not in a position to comment uh, on behalf of the other companies, but certainly um, Vedanta has been present in Africa since 2004 uh, when we came into Zambia for investment into the copper side of the business. Yeah. And since then, we have been looking at opportunities to grow within Africa. And this is inconsistent with our growth ambitions, and therefore we would... Uh, be very happy to work in South Africa, Namibia, as well as Ireland. Mm. Well, looking at the copper price, and it's quite fitting that we chat about it, given the fact that it's hit a new all-time high today, $10,135 a ton. It's come back to around $10,065 a ton or so. Uh, your view on this, and it's really got to do with su supply constraints and also the fact that demand is ticking up significantly, and one only has to look at the manufacturing space and the recent PMI numbers that we saw on a global level. Um, there, there is significant uh, work happening in um, Africa on the copper side. So all I can say is um, uh, African um, uh, countries are gearing up for the uh, mineral resource exploration as well as uh, development of the copper assets. So maybe in the next uh, three to five years period, there is going to be significant contribution from an African point of view into the global uh, supply, uh, supply of copper.